Hello and welcome to another one of my technical art videos. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to do this, just a simple rotating texture. And the main thing about this is that we are gonna be using the vertex shader instead of the pixel shader because the vertex shader gets calculated once per vertex and the pixel shader gets calculated once per pixel. So we can get a lot of mileage out of this, especially if we're targeting lower end devices. So to start things off, I'm just gonna be using this material it's only a texture, nothing else has been modified and I'm gonna select the material and I'm gonna search for customized UVs. So I'm gonna set this as 3 and I usually like to leave UV0 and UV1 alone because those are used for texturing and light maps. So if you know what you're doing just go ahead and plug it to UV0 but I like to keep things separated until I know what I'm doing for my final material. So I do call the texture coordinate 0 the UV0 to start things off and I'm gonna add a custom rotator and I'm also gonna create a time node I'm gonna divide that time so I can get some control over the speed of rotation and I'm gonna plug this into the rotation angle so I'm gonna plug this into UV2 and as you can see nothing has happened but if we set our texture UV2 to 2, 2 we now have a rotating logo and I can set this as 10 and now we have a slowly rotating logo. So this technique is actually quite powerful and you can do a lot of things. You could calculate offsets, you could, you could tile your texture here, you can do a lot of crazy things. And you are going to be doing those for cheaper because you are calculating everything on the vertex shader. So yeah, that's the video for today. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. And if you like the video, remember to click like and subscribe. See you on the next one.